Breaking barriers, rewriting history, facing extreme challenges in her own right. So how is Michelle Obama going to redefine the role of First Lady? Joining us tonight to talk about that is Faye Waddleton. She's a co-founder and president of the Center for the Advancement of Women. Nice to see you. You know, on one hand, you think Michelle Obama is really so accomplished that if anybody has to pull it off, she'll be able to. But on the other hand, it is it is not going to be an easy transition. No, it'll be a very, very tightrope that she will have to walk because anyone who makes a breakthrough the first time is expected to, to achieve and to excel at a degree that perhaps is not entirely fair. Uh, she's really a blank slate for many people. We'll project what we believe that she should be or should not be. But she's also signaled that she's a woman of her own making. She follows her own counsel. And I hope that that through the political process we have not seen a homogenization of who this woman is and all of her complexity. Yeah, sometimes and in politics they try to squish that exactly, out of you as much as they exactly. possibly can. And it, you know, black women will often talk about, you know, living two lives, divided lives, I think is the name of, of a book about it. On one hand, you have to be a certain way at home and then another way at work. And she sort of got her home and work life are one in a way. How's she going to navigate that? Well, Mrs. Obama has been educated in white institutions, so she has lived in a majority culture, and we do have an African American culture. I mean, the, the, the qualities of our history and our legacy and the legacy of slavery and all that it has been with respect to our struggle informs who we are, and yet we have to walk among a society that may not fully un understand where we come from, and that's why the stereotype of African American women Women is often not a fair one and not an accurate uh, characterization that is that I think that Mrs. Obama's presence the visual of her presence has already made an enormous impact and I think she'll continue to do so I, I think that's very true Barbara Bush used to have these witty one-liners all the time one thing she said that was a little smitty was about Jerry Ferraro she described her as well it rhymes with, I'm not gonna say the word but it rhymes with rich and yes. you sort of wonder Will a Michelle Obama be able to pull something like that off and not have that be front page news? Probably. I can't imagine Michelle Obama saying, st making statements like that. I think she probably has a lot more respect for the range of temperaments among all women, including women of color. But we are often very much characterized because of our directness. We were taught to be direct. We we're taught to be honest. Uh, the way we communicate with each other, the code process of African American language and 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 communication is different. We're sometimes characterized as such. And, and as a matter of fact, in the early part of the campaign. People said that they were afraid of her, and why? Why to be afraid of her? Because she was a direct woman, and I think that that we will become accustomed to her, and for that reason, we will move the ball forward on the image of African American and women. And we'll certainly all be watching her, especially in those fabulous dresses that she likes to wear. Faye Wilder, always nice to see you. Thanks for Thank talking you for with having us. Me. Up next, more on that notion that she was uh, formidable on the campaign trail. We're going to take a look at how Mrs. Obama might or may not try to temper that image when she gets to the White House, and then. Talking about Michelle Obama, back with Faye Waddleton, the co-founder and president of the Center for Advancement of Women. This is what you do. What do you think literally will be Michelle Obama's impact on women, black women and, and not black women? Well, she's already had an enormous impact, just her presence, the uh, capacity for us to understand or believe that a woman of accomplishment can be the first lady of the United States. That's the top position uh, for um, the, the wife of the president. I think that when she opens the door to think it's possible for minority women to enter, she elevates the prospects for all women. So the aspirations for women now are greatly changed. I think what we really should be guarded against, however, is not to expect too much. She's, she is still a human being and there will be times when she may make mistakes. She is not going to do it always the per, uh, very perfect way. So it's really important that we sort of give her room and, and, and an opportunity to find her best position so that she can serve her, her office as best as she can. You have to imagine that there are literally little girls who will have their lives changed because of this. Well, all of us have had our lives changed for this. I have to believe that all African American women are looked upon a little differently. Now we haven't solved the issue of racism and bias, but we have certainly moved the ball forward toward a more progressive outlook for all women, but, but for her the role is ever more important and it'll be a tight rope because there will be those who will want to impose their expectations on 
her breakthrough. And so it's going to be interesting to watch. Yeah, she was on that tightrope during the campaign a little bit too. She so was on the tightrope and the, the, she the rope that will get tighter. Well. <laughs> uh, she well now has four years to do it. Yep, yep. Nice to see you. Thanks for Thank talking you. with us. Now